So hello everyone, the Modern Halo in my review, back to episode 55, and uh, I thought it was pretty okay. Um, so Instructor Fancel, uh, it's from the Vision, uh, you know, light novel, the yeah, light novel, not Vision novel, and uh, I don't think you have to, you know, I guess it's like a normal, there's no manga based on here, it's from the more, yeah, from the Diamond Kingdom, it has some place to more strikes and so on. But generally, uh, he's a secret master of Astaran. I think that, in one way, I really like that. I don't, I'm not a big fan of Asta beating, so that, that to me is really silly. But the general, because he's actually trained Asta in between episode like 1 and 2, I guess. Yeah, true, 2 or like 1 or 3. Um, that's pretty good, because Asta is very good at fighting this one, right? So having like, some guy, random guys training him, it's like a master trainer from the story country that accidentally met him and so on, yeah. That is somewhat like it makes sense. It's a little plot heavy, you know, because like yeah, the main character has a secret master, but uh, you know, so I, I think it's pretty good. Um, that, that that I liked. I like his jokes with him being naked all the time. Give me a lot of gray from fairy tale feel to it, but yeah, that was great. Especially that last joke was really good when he, <laughs> he leaves. Next he's like, oh, stop, he's naked again. It's like, why are you new again? Why is there new boars? Like, I hate you. Yeah, the dad. Oh, every time. Yeah, the dad. That was fun. That, that was really fun. That joke last was really good. Um, and Marielle, it's like Mariella, I guess. Mariella is a person. Mariella. Less, well, at least where I come from, it's less common name than Marielle, which is not a very common name, but at least I know people have that anyway um yeah she's interesting she kind of like i guess he kind of betrayed her you know classmates whatever right and got them killed or maybe it's her fault particularly but she has some kind of like yeah i sacrificed them so i could live so you know she's a kind of survival instinct and so on and so kind of shooting uh diamonds i guess saving dr marsh um but that being said she's definitely gonna be in the next episode right if you read the preview she's probably gonna fight noel or yeah, very likely she's gonna fight Noel right uh, next episode. And um, she's probably gonna maybe even return later, right? After the whole story. Or join, you know, maybe she's with the Marsh or more general, right? And join them to fight and so on, right? Yeah, like why not? That could be interesting. Kind of getting again another character from the side there uh, with some backstory and so on. So her, betra uh, her betraying Fansel, I, I, I'm gonna say this. I don't, I don't think it was absurdly predictable, but it was kind of predictable. Yeah, I feel it's like a pretty scale 5 out of 10. It's kind of like, it has to be something like that, right? But not necessarily her, but things that they needed conflict, right? There needed some kind of conflict to happen here. And so I felt that she entered here. It was either going to be that she's a traitor, that Domina, his fiance is a traitor, or that she was tailed, right? It was like one of those three had to happen pretty much. So it's not like she has to be a traitor, but it's kind of like it's probably her or the fiance that she has to find it. One of them is probably even right. It was kind of like, yeah, it was kind of like that. There's no conflict really, right? Because Asta is meeting this guy. So, um, but I, th I think it was pretty good. Um, what I didn't like then, and I absolutely stand by that, is uh, Asta meeting everyone so easily. That's <laughs> kind of like, I know it's the main character and so on, but I think in this case, this is a flashback before he joined the Mad Knights, this is before he was like, this is like Asta like level 1 or like level 0 Asta, like first day with his blade. And he, I, I know he beat the Shane guy, but that's that, you know, like he's empowered by the demon or that. This is like him just fighting these random goons, and he's like, blah, 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 and he's beats them easily. And they're supposed to be assassins with, you know, masterful skills in there, whatever, yeah. Of course, these guys are like random goons, but still though, are they supposed to be a little better than like a random level 1 noob guy that just started as a hero? But no, 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 they, they, get, they lose it in a way. I know it's the main character, but still, right? <laughs> so they, it kind of makes Aido Asta absurdly, you know, good for his you know, own level, right? Like his first day, pretty much. His first battles, except the, the, the very first guy. Uh, or it just makes them look really weak. Like these random people that are supposed to be a good guy. I don't know, they're horrible. Like they, can, they kept you in the job for a second. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. So that, 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 that I'm a little more torn about because... Um, after Asta kind of motivates slash frees Francis, he kind of beats up those. So yeah, that, that's fine. He just screws them all down. That's fine though. Um, but Asta, though, yeah. But what I don't get at all though, and I kept saying that, so that in my live version, that's probably going to come in the next episode, is how Noel knows him, right? And that I feel I have to say that the pacing felt slow, right? The pacing could have probably been, they probably could have summarized this episode in like 10 minutes, uh, what happened there. They probably could be summarized in half that time. And then throw in whatever's happened to with Noel, 
with him next week could probably be in the next second half of the episode, right? Or maybe half, but like at least a few minutes there. That, 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 that was pretty slow. Um, I felt you could have done it faster, definitely. And um, I haven't seen really, like, I don't understand how he knows Noel. Did he maybe be, like, was he her instructor in the past, maybe, before he, you know, got to that, those people and so on? Is that a thing? Uh, well, I don't get it at all. This displays how he would know about the curse thing. That thing, I, that I felt lacked here, though. Maybe that's played next week. But it's like, this is a martial artist, like a grand, you know, great swordsman, good, you know, general fighting trainer, right? How can he help them about the curse for Asta and uh, the general healing of Asta? Like, this guy's a fighter, right? Yeah, I don't know how he, I don't know if his powers relate to, again, relate to the curse thing. That to me seems very, very far apart, right? Far apart, right? It's not like he was a master of the Asian magic, and Asta could really learn anything from him, but yeah, but you know what I mean? Right? He's just that kind of character, that he was this Asta secret master of both monster and crazy, you know, spooky special one. You can be like, yeah, this guy, he knows curse, I can tell him, yeah. But no, no, this guy's like a pure, you know, martial art, empowered by wind kind of guy. That's kind of why I see him. I don't know how that relates at all to the, to the curse thing. So, um, I hope they stay next week, because right now I feel like I don't know how he can help them for a second. Unless he's like, oh, I know about the secret thing in my... No, I, 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 you know, I left those people, they had this thing stuff over there, go and get that thing, May, maybe, so they, yeah. But I guess, hopefully they're going to explain that, uh, and again, Noel is probably going to fight uh, Moriella, right, for sure, right, so unless they befriended him and so on. Uh, okay. That's right, we about the last thing, I went to for it for the last, and I want something like whining in the view here. <sighs> But man, the animation though, okay, the animation was atrocious, it was bad, okay, let's it, face that. Um, so often people defending back over, and I tend to be one of them, but it also has to say this was potentially the worst anime episode ever in back over. At least in the, like, this, I don't know if it's a year, but at least like the last 15, 20 episodes, I can remember this is the worst episode animated. Uh, by far, I would say, I think it's very clearly the worst episode in Lisa Clan's episode, probably the worst ever. Again, right to say, it. yeah, but uh, I don't know, if, uh, maybe not the worst ever, but definitely the top three. It was really bad. And um, it, it was really, really, really annoying. Um, There's so, so many issues. I mean, the main thing is the kid doing it, right? The, the kid doing this weird face all the time, especially there was one scene where Asla kept talking to fans. Uh, and he was standing there doing this weird smile, kind of like this. Like, like that for like 15, 20 seconds. He was standing on the corner, it's like... <laughs> yeah, he was doing that Attack on Titan. If you see, see that, that weird Titan, uh, that's just kind of weird, like... <laughs> he was doing that thing pretty much, right? For like 20 seconds or so. And Asta was kept talking, and we see his mouth moving, right? And everything else was just static in that screen. He's standing in the corner doing that thing. And it was like... Man, this looks really weird. This, this looks really weird. This stuff looks cr cray cray. And it, it was a lot of that. Yeah, that was the most noticeable because it was just, he has just a weird smile too. But it was a lot of those scenes where us talks and he just stands there. Next scene, he his speaks and us just like. And it was, it was a lot of that, right? And he just kept like framing them. And then also her, Marielle had a scene where she, she said away that black. Or, or, um, I guess a quick stall, you know, diamond teeth like Marsh can do, pretty much. But during that time frame, though, her body was kind of like standing there, like like this stride. It was very, very rigid, yeah. Like she was standing in the shadow, her face was kind of not really drawn. She's like hiding away face. It was really, it was really weird, like out of place there, yeah. Um, so that that was just really bad. And I think, again, I thought about this a few, maybe a few months back. But I think the main thing here is to keep doing up and down, up and down, up and down. If they had, let's say this thing, say they had five out of ten animation the whole episode, um, that would be one thing. That would be pretty bad. But like, yeah, okay, five out of ten episode. But, but instead, it go like you know, three, six, three, seven, three, seven, three, seven, kind of like that. What I mean is that instead of having again that like a five, like a middle value. Uh, I mean, five ten is bad, but I mean, like, it's five five five, right? So it's just averagely bad animated compared to you know, ten ten minutes all the time. So you kind of just jump up and down, right? That's why it's even more noticeable because you go from like 
Would it be better if you use three out of ten all the time? May arguably it might even be better with this MS Paint all the way through, but not really, I guess. But it's still though, it's noticeable. Like I mean, it's weird to me that you just can't say, okay, we're gonna have this is the budget we have, so you just, you just stay, you know, five out of ten, or you know, four out of ten, whatever, yeah, whatever the budget is, instead of going up and down, right? Because as soon as it's like, ah, oh, this is pretty good now and win magic, next scene, it's like, <laughs> yeah, the next scene, yeah, back and forth, it's like. Man, they had the same issue uh, once against these two, not the fight team, but kind of talking to him in, for five minutes there. It also was very similar there when you kind of had like really good animation and then it's like, suddenly it's weird, you know, junior issue, no one, no, yeah, no animation scenes. And I think that's the biggest issue, honestly. Not, I mean, obviously the, the, the genre is just kind of bad, but if they made it bad, it's like an average bad, you, you, you would also say less. But now it's like, yeah, it's pretty good. Oh, really bad. Really, really bad. <laughs> so every time it goes down again, it's so noticeable. And sometimes they kind of animate the effects decently, and but the faces are kind of dead inside. So it's kind of like, there's a soulless effect right there. And it's really, really weird. So whatever. Yeah, animation was really bad. Probably the worst they had in um, at least three, four months. Yeah. Very noticeable. Extremely noticeable. Uh, next episode preview looks 10 times better with no other zone. Yeah, that looks so much more animated, so much more detailed. Um, and again, people are just, uh, rest of comments, but, oh yeah, it's like, it's okay if it's based on a vision novel, or, uh, sorry, vision novel, but... Light novel, light novel, I mean, yeah. Uh, so they had no magic to go on, yeah, but the problem is that it's so up and down, and it's clear at some point that you just don't even animate stuff. Not going to do it, you know, based on something else. Anyway, Hope you this review. See you guys soon here with the Tokyo Ghoul live reaction. Please subscribe button, press the like button. You're in Discord, Twitter, Twitch, all the good stuff. So yeah, see you guys with Tokyo Ghoul. And then later we have like a uh, uh, Rabbit Wind. And then we have Tony Java. And I might even watch Conception Episode 3. Even though most people have dropped that anime. And I'm probably dropping it too. I'm like, ah, I'm probably watching this one more episode. It's like I watched three episodes and be like, I have done the one to three now. So I can arguably say, I watched three episodes. It's not a good anime. <laughs> yeah, of course, that's uh, pregnant, well made, and uh, yeah, horror, horror animated, man. Anyway, see you guys. Have a great day.